a lot of you find these Star Wars aliens very sexy. What's the deal? Welcome back to the Jungle Room, everybody. It's me, the Jumpman, coming back at you with a video. Maybe I'm just out of touch. I don't know. I don't know. Over the last couple years, I've you know I've ran into this online. People in message forms talking about it. People here talking about it. They seem to have some kind of fetish for the Twilight Twilix or whatever. I'm just gonna call them the Twi the T. I'll call them the T's because I'm gonna say it wrong. These are the alien race that has the horns. Biff the Tuna was one of them, and. I don't know. I don't know how anybody can have a fetish for Biff and Tuna. I don't know anyone that saw the Star Wars Turn of the Jedi and saw Biff and Tuna, you know, and had to run and get a sock. I, I don't understand. But if you go online, I see posts and talk about how sexy they are. Now, I get within the universe they're supposed to be like the sexy aliens. And I get that, and I'm saying the body doesn't look good, um, that the actress or actor playing them isn't a nice-looking person. They just seem, I think people are some are really turned on by the worm hair. Is it a bone? Is it like cartilage? Is it fur? I, I don't know. Is it soft? It just really turns me off. I just can't, I don't understand. And I put videos out there so maybe you guys can kind of explain it to me. But it is, I admit, is when it comes to life, people's got, you know, people. some people like, you know, a big rack. Some people like probably a small rack. Some people like a medium rack. Some people like a shoe rack. Uh, there's all kinds of people. I understand. There's people that like big butts and little butts and square butts and rectangle butts. I get that. So maybe it's just a preference thing, but I don't know why worm hair turns people on. And do they move? Does it have like muscles inside of it? Can they like wave with it or anything? Again, I'm not judging. I mean, I like to have yogurt shoved up my ass while I'm sucking a popsicle. So how can I judge that people like these aliens? It's just... I don't see it with any other race, but again, I know this race is supposed to be within universe more of a sexy race, kind of exotic, so maybe that leads into it or something, because I never see, you know, people talking about how sexy a Ugnut is, Ugnut, 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 whatever. I don't see people talking about sexy Jawas or something like that, so I understand within the Star Wars universe, they're probably the sexiest aliens, but for me, I have to, like, not look at the neck up. You know what? I don't like the color of the skin. Not that it sounds racist or anything, but they're like they're like purple and blue, and it just seems so odd. Uh, I do get there half naked a lot of times, except for Biff for tuna. Why wasn't Biff for tuna ever naked? You think he smelled like tuna? But anyway, uh, now I know Ahsoka Tana. Everyone worships at her feet. I know she's not part of this race, but I have a problem with this also. Look at this. I don't understand. I, this is my, I, I mean, I've got some issues with the TV show, I kind of like it, but this character has always bothered me because look at it. I don't, it's that headgear. Well, at first I was like, is it part of the body? Is this like a hat she wears? I can't really, and even on the TV show, that's I'm distracted, you know, I'm just, while she's sitting there with her arms folded in judgment at everybody, I'm just looking and saying, what is that thing on? It's just so distracting and weird. It makes, it's just so ugly. It's so, oh, she's just so ugly. Now, Radio Dawson, she's she's a nice-looking woman, and I'm sure, you know, we shaved that big thing off of her head. She, even the character will look, but I just don't get the horns and everything. I just don't understand, and I'm trying to put this video out. Maybe someone can I, get, explain it to me. Do you, when you have a fetish about these characters with the horns and everything, do you think about, like, sucking on the horns? Do you, I don't, like, you can go on, there's DVR, there's websites. That just show people that strong pictures of these aliens and sex doing outrageous things. Some of them I can't even put in this video. I mean, whew, stuff that will make your grandpa blush. I mean, this is, again, I might be out of touch. You might say, Junk Man, didn't you see the green one in Jabba's Palace? Didn't you see that ugly purple one in Jabba's Palace? Wasn't you turned on? Wasn't as a young boy going to see it? Wasn't you excited? No, Slave Leia. Which became, you know, what slave layer? What I, I didn't hear the term slave lay until like the early two thousands. But Leia and her gold bikini, as we called it, that I can understand. Mon Mothma in a g-string, I can understand someone drawing that. I can understand almost anything, but these, it's, it's like, 
Can they control them? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Can they? What happens if you cut one off? I want to see a lightsaber and one of them get them cut off. I hope in a, a Sokotata she gets hit in the head with a lightsaber and half of it flies off or something. I just, and they end up in a story where half of them broke off or something. Do they grow back? Again, there just seems just to be a really part of the fan base is really turned on by these by these wormhead people and i i don't know i just don't get it and again i'm putting this out there thinking maybe you guys can help me maybe i can find a way to watch a sokatana while i mean there's other races in star wars why is this race what's with the horn stuff what I don't understand why you see this race more than anything else in Star Wars, not just the T's, but the anyone with the horn hair and stuff. I just don't get it. Now, I know this video, I've said that like 10 times. I just don't get it, I just don't get it. And I wish I had more in this video to talk about, but again, I'm just putting this out there to say maybe it's just me, or maybe this little side of the Phantom is just a small side, and I run across it here and there, so maybe it's not even that big of a thing. Or maybe you're like, man, I can't watch anything Star Wars. These things come on, I just get, my pants get tight when I see them. I just get so excited. I have to get a jar of mayonnaise and a sock and run to the bathroom. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I understand Princess Leia looks good. I can understand Rey Skywalker looks good. I can understand Lando looks good. I can understand a lot of people like different things. I get that. But man, I just don't get this. I, I mean, they're ugly. Let's be honest with you. They're, other than the body... Which is just a regular human body. I'm talking about the head and the horns. The horn just throws me off. It just throws me off. That's all I'm saying. It, you know, if I met a woman and maybe I didn't see me, I just saw the bottom half, I'd be like, hey, that's a nice looking woman. I don't know why she's purple, but she's a nice looking woman. And then I see that and I see the horns and everything. And I was like, how do you make out with that? How do you make out with that looking at it? I'd be scared she putting them horns, them horns somewhere. I might stick it somewhere. I don't want it to be stuck. I just don't understand. Again, maybe I'm out of touch. Back in my day, back in the OT day, what did we find sexy? Aunt Baru lay in a gold bikini. The bartender in the holiday special. One moth mall wall. Man, sexy women. And yeah, there was the twins. The twins in the cantina. Sexy. Kind of sexy hair's a little tall but maybe i'm just being picky here and again i know it's supposed to be within universe they're supposed to be sex symbols and everything i get that i just don't understand the uh fascination with this more than just a sexual thing it seems like there's some kind of people really love these alien races not just the t's but the whatever the sogatana is god it's so ugly it's like horns everywhere they're all i just can't Maybe I'm just too. Old. Maybe I'm just like stuck in my old, like my old school Star Wars I grew up with. I just can't accept new things. But I don't. Yeah, I know people's got different tastes out there. Some people like fat women. Some people like skinny women. Some people like square women. I get that. I get it. Some people like. Some people like. I know a guy that likes women with red hair. Red hair. He likes that. He likes that. He also likes carpet. He like, I, some reason he wants the carpet in the house to match the drapes or something. I don't know. He's always telling me about the carpets and the drapes. I was like, who who cares if your girlfriend is good at designing, uh, good at you know carpet and drapes in the house? I don't. I, I could never figure that out. But okay, I'm just rambling now. This is a rambling video. I just want to put it out there that I really don't get it. And this is probably where I make the video, and then three months later, I get busted for having. Twilight, Twilight porn on my computer. And it's like, oh, I should have known he was a closet fan. He likes that he's jerking off to that. But no, I've jerked off to many weird, strange things. Most of it, not even, not even, you know, most of it's objects like anyone else, you know, like everybody else. You know, tables, tables really make me do that. You know, tables, wallets, wallets always like to do, you know, spank the monkey to a wallet. I mean, who hasn't spunked their monkey to a wallet? I don't know. Everybody has cue cards. I like that. Index cards. <sighs> Rulers. I, <love. sighs> I can understand all that. But getting excited, getting your rocks off about somebody with horns that look like worms on the head, I just don't. I can't get it. Well, 
I'm gonna go buy some popsicles and yogurt and let you decide in the comment section, am I just out of touch or am I just missing something? Again, I know the body looks good. I'm talking about the horns just turned me off, you know? Yeah, you know. Just don't, mm. I mean, I can go on. I, maybe I'm just an odd guy. Everybody talks about the Kardashians and their big asses and all I think is that just looks gross. I just don't like a, that big, ugh. I'm like, how do they sit on a toilet bowl with that? I, I don't know, maybe. What happened to real women? Farrah Fawcett. Linda Carter. Oh, Bailey from WKRP. No, not Lonnie Anderson. Ugh, that's what your dad liked. Oh, Bailey. Welcome back, Carter's wife. Remember her? Hmm, Suzanne Summers before she got fat. Oh, I didn't mean Suzanne Summers. I meant the lady from, uh, On the Family. That wasn't Suzanne Summers. Sally Field. No. Oh, well, I'm rambling now. What happened to real women in this world? <sighs> A real alien women. Yeah. Remember that female Alf? Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a furball I like to get stuck somewhere. I'll tell you that. Mm, Bonnie Franklin. Now that's a redhead I would love to. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>